Hello and welcome back to part 31 of our Fallout 76 beginner's walkthrough. Uh, in our last video we did reach level 20, so I've taken the opportunity to craft a better pipe revolver, so we now have a level 20 pipe revolver. Oh, want to keep that favorited and upgraded some of our armor. Still got this uh, chameleon armor so we'll occasionally you'll see as we go into hidden mode occasionally go into chameleon mode where we will be very hard to spot and you will kind of just see a translucent outline of where we are so don't freak out if suddenly our our character disappears into the background. Uh, also, taking the time to go back to the camp, become well rested and well tuned. Uh, let's see, I guess we could still got some pumpkin pie going, but we could definitely use a little food and drink. Again, we want to make sure that we are sorted for spoilage. And we can drink some of this tato juice. And some of this blood leaf tea. Have a little soup. Alright, then we're pretty much fully fed, fully hydrated. Oh, I want to go ahead and turn off some of these quests that we picked up. Let's see. And what we're going to do while we're down here is there's the fire station. We're just going to kind of follow this road along and visit a few locations. So while we're here, let's see, do a little looting. See what's in this house. Dex fan. see anything particularly of use here. Looks like we can run across the street to this free stater dwelling. Oh, a wood pile. Clipboard, my favorite. Nothing there. <laughs> Spooky time, Mr. Fuzzy. Good for those of you who are collectors. Nothing going on here at this house. 
So we'll go ahead and pass out of Charleston. Again, heading east. These locations don't appear to be lootable, so we'll stick to the road. Not much going on at this house. appear to be quite a few mongrels there around that tent site. Oop, vicious wolves. Four vicious wolves might be a little bit more than we can handle at this point. We'll just keep heading east. As this will be our first, this is our objective here. Uh-oh. I know I heard... There they are. find these doesn't appear to have protected anyone and what we're going to come upon This large estate, the Riverside Manor. Scrawling was scorched, but we will return. We're going to keep heading down the road. Investigate. Here is a Blood Eagle camp.
And here at this location. Is the Torrance House. The Torrance House is an homage to the. Alarm. Standing. Movie The Shining. So there are a few Easter eggs here. Commencing attack oh. on hostile target. Oh, he's gonna explode. Let's get out of here. Some lootables here. But we're going to want to head up here. over there at the Raider camp. Full pocket watch, that's good stuff. Purified water and wine, that'll work. bit of scrap. We can jump up here. This couple with some wooden blocks. And as we can see from here, a maze. Just like in The Shining. And we're even going to. A little tricycle. And what's that spell? Red rum. Red rum. Danny Torrance's tricycle. Well, let's go explore this maze. Gonna be some more 
Protectron activity. Yep, well. And here we find a steamer trunk. Some goodies. Fugitive is attempting to evade capture. Beginning pursuit. some good lead scrap. Safe to unlock. As we roam the maze, we've got one more Easter egg left to find. And here it is. Here's Johnny with his axe. All right. So, it's our little homage to the Shining. Go ahead and Follow the carnage back out of the maze. Okay. I'm going to continue to kind of head over here to the northeast. I think that we can quite jump up here. Let me see. Might have to go through the hole in the gate.
Let's see a feral ghoul. Let's see if we can't get a headshot on this guy. And we found the Hornwright Summer Villa. Come on. Headshot. A gourd being very important to plant back at our camp. One of the few places to find gourds. And gourds are an important component later on we will find. Oh! Oh, liberators. The bane of my existence. Dang it. I thought I had reloaded. go recover a little health through diet and here we are at the Hornwright Summer Villa now the area that we're going to be looking for is the basement of goodies down here. Hornwright Estate Access Key Card. That's going to be important. Lots of good loot, but this is what we're really here for. This corpse in this strange dress. We get a damaged hollow tape, a worn veil. Riverside Manor is back. The Raiders are closing in. And this is Shannon Rivers. The young woman here. Definitely want this brain fungus. This is 
this a plan? Oh, it's a known plan. Take that duct tape. Combination wrench. And let's do a little scrapping. Scrap all this junk. Scrap these 10 mil pistols. good let's continue this quest we've got the two things we've come for let's take the time to cook up that brain fungus There is more looting that can be done here. Uh, but I do want to leave plenty of time as we are going to return back now to Riverside Manor. Um, in the interest of time, Let's just fast travel back. So, this is going to be an important piece of our costume that we're going to discover here, as well as some lore about the Mistress of Mystery. Now there are tons and tons of Scorched here. I think it's time to go to our suppressed pipe revolver. Well, still. Usually several roaming around outside the residence. Oh, there he is, right there on the front porch. Oh, I thought I was going to get a headshot. All right, let's enter in. So for those of you that are familiar with Huber's comics from Fallout 4 and one of their stars being the Silver Shroud, but the Silver Shroud had a, a sidekick of kinds in the Mistress of Mystery. Yes, this chameleon leather is coming in handy.
some good shooting there. There we go. Bit of a shootout. All right. Here's what we've been looking for: is the short com the combat rifle, which becomes also available at level 20. Carrot. Also, another something else we're going to want to plant in our garden soon. I think I might just. For grins here, use a stem pack. Alright, let's head upstairs because that's where all the lore is. Saw you hanging out in there. Walk back by, please. There you are. Really hoping we would find a level 20 shotgun off of one of these guys. Okay, and a little more proper looting. Oh, that's good stuff. Magnifying glass. Ooh, I saw handcuffs. Here's terminal with a bit of lore. Talking about Miss Rivers. And Olivia. But let's come down here for this to make a little more sense. Oh. Get my lead fix. Get a little cap stash there. Don't pass that up. Go to this terminal, which is the study terminal. Of Miss Shannon Rivers, the Mistress of Mystery. So I'll let you read all of that. You can find out that they were planning to start a series, Mistress of Mystery. Fan mail. A seven year old. And even something from our old friend Kent Conley from 
the ghoul fan of the silver shroud from Fallout 4. Well, anyways. Oh, sorry. Her personal journal. You can start reading these, and you can see that they were. She was training. to play the part of the Mistress of Mystery once the television show was starting. But, if you go, I'll save you the trip through all of the lore. She was replaced by a younger actress. But her and her husband, Frederick, went to great troubles to train so that she could play the part. Oh. Darn it, somebody's right behind. I kind of walked into this one, didn't I? Hey, let me get out of the... wasn't very good gameplay on my part. Like I said, I kind of just walked right into that one, didn't I? Alright, another combat shotgun that we can scrap when we get the chance. This appears to be the master bedroom here. Then tats. And some goodies here. Oh, skill level three. It's going to be beyond us at the moment. All right, well, let's head down. It's now saying to search the front parlor while wearing the veil. So let's do that. is a storeroom back here. But again, in the interest of time. So what we'll do is as they suggest, search this front parlor while wearing a veil. And we did get a worn veil. And it opens this and we can head down here. And we can now register with become an initiate for the order of mysteries here and much more lore here read all of this. Much more lore. But our next we can now listen to the initiate holotape. Well, 
thought we hit. Okay. Or we can use the fabricator. Which is what we're going to want to do here. Let's see. So here's a nice little workshop area. You can play this. Frederick Rivers, production log number 209. This whole thing still amazes me sometimes. Take cryptos. I needed a mainframe to run Shannon's training room. My buddy Zach at Robco had a mothballed DIA project he wanted to unload. I didn't give a damn about the price. It looked impressive, and it's been one hell of a machine. The girls have done a fantastic job collecting intel over the years. Rachel, Janet, and I spent the last two weeks pruning the database down, and we've still got more leads than we know what to do with. Oh, Rachel had an idea for an automated query system for mission assignments. I took a look at her code. Nice piece of work. I think our old mainframe's in good hands. All right, that lightens the load quite a bit. Frederick Rivers, production log 212. I've started digging into Kent's old idea for a ballistic weave. It's ambitious, so I'll give him that. Finding the right pattern is going to be... Uh, uh, oh, Shannon. Sorry, I didn't hear you come in. What are you up to, dear? Another log. <laughs> Does anyone ever listen to these? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they'll come in handy for Janet someday. She practically runs a place now. I just tinker. You do more than that. I could never have done this without you. I know that look. What's bothering you? Olivia? Our daughter is two days late. Again. Frederick, I don't know what to do with that girl. She's smart, talented. But she never listens. She won't take orders. When I try to correct her, she just storms off do you think you could dear I love you both I can't get in the middle of this the two of you need to talk this out we've always put a lot of pressure on her she's not perfect but she's an incredible young woman remember that yeah yeah I know it's past midnight come on let's go to bed I can finish this in the morning. All right, now let's use this fabricator to repair our veil. Now the whole point of coming here and doing this was that now we have the Veil of Secrets which prevents damage and disease from airborne hazards. So we can now travel south at our leisure. and follow the overseer down to Welch to get her next journal. So all of this is known as the ash heap and you will need to have some kind of gas mask to explore down here. As you can see you have several events down here. Um, also for those of you who are interested in developing 
some kind of uh, power armor. This is also where we're going to have to. You're going to have to go to get the plan for the power armor station, so that you can repair power armor in your own base. Um, go back to here. If you've listened to all the lore, you can find out that after the war, or after the bombs dropped, uh, they started the society, took in orphans, and trained them as other mistresses of mystery to go about and take on the raider groups and try to bring some order to this area. But we will find out that that didn't go so well. All right. So the next thing to do is to listen to this initiate holotape. Here's this terminal. All right, nothing we can do. But we've achieved what we've come here for. You can follow this quest if you want to. There are some special weapons that you can get. Um, there's a sword, there's a pistol, various other things you can pick up. But that was the whole purpose of coming here, is to get this veil. So... With that, that's kind of the conclusion. Of this video. Oh, we don't have the key. But anyways, we now have the veil of secrets. Which is an easy way to travel south into the ash heap. We'll go ahead and continue later and we'll do a little more discovering around the lake here and the dam and go ahead and work on completing this quest for Duchess here at the Wayward. So thanks for watching. Uh, do want to give a shout out to some of our latest subscribers. We've got Dark Twenty Blade eighty eight, Darkness eighty five, Super Smudge seventy six, and Ignitus Malia. Hey, thanks for the subs. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for all the comments you guys have been adding, and I hope you finding this helpful. Uh, and uh, do appreciate uh, all of the likes and comments.